If this is your WordPress site, there is a default font being used here for different parts of it. I'll show you how to change any font into whatever you want for free. But where will these new fonts come from? Well, Google has a huge library of over a thousand free fonts to choose from. And I'll show you how to use this free plugin to access these fonts and change any font on your site. But before that, you should know that adding more plugins and more features slows down your site over time. And then your visitors will start getting stuck at loading screens like this, which will lose you a lot of traffic and a lot of money. So first, let's just take a minute, add your website URL to Google PageSpeed. And if you get a score less than 90, then your site is already too slow and we need to fix this before we do anything else. Now, there's a few other speed plugins in the market, but they're either paid or have hundreds of settings, which beginners like me can't understand. So my team made our own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. They've built successful plugins before, so you can trust they know their stuff. After installing Airlift, you just need to add your site and with one click, it does everything needed to make your site up to three times faster and get a 90 plus score like this. There's no hidden conditions here and it's free. So you can keep it activated to keep your site fast. Now, there's two methods to change the font on your site. The first is to go to our website, click on this customize button, and then use the settings here to change the font. But this method has two drawbacks. Firstly, we need to click on this global option to get the font settings, but some themes don't have this option. So it's better that you skip to method number two, which is later in this video. The second drawback is that the number of fonts available here is much less than the huge library of Google fonts that I showed you earlier. So again, if you want more fonts, you can go to method two. Now, if these two drawbacks don't affect you, then you can just change the font here by going to typography. And then to change the font of the body text, such as this part of your website, just click on body font. And under base font, you'll find a list of font styles in the drop down menu. So choose the one you prefer. I'm selecting the font Golos. And as you can see on the screen, the text font has successfully changed on the site. Now, to change the font style of all the headings on the website, let's click on headings and then select your preferred font style from the drop down menu. I'll choose this one. And just like that, all the headlines have a fresh new look. All right, now we need to save our changes. For that, we'll go to the publish button, click that, and that's it. Now, if we go to the website and refresh the page, you can see that the font changes we have made are showing here. All right, now in the second method, we will use a free plugin to add thousands of Google fonts to your website and then change your website fonts. So first, let's go to our website dashboard and click on plugins, then select add new plugin. Then here type fonts plugin. Okay, so this is the plugin we want. So let's install it and activate it. All right, there you go. Now Google fonts for WordPress have been installed on your dashboard. So let's go back to our site and refresh the page and you'll get a new option called fonts plugin over here. So click on that and head to basic settings. Okay, now to change the body text on your site, go to base typography and choose your preferred font from all these fonts that you see. Now I'll go with this one. And just like that, the text font has been changed. Now to change your headings, click the headings typography drop down and choose a font from this list. So I'll pick this one. And now as you can see, a new style has been applied. After that, hit the publish button. And now if we go to our website and refresh the page, you can see that the font styles have changed. Now, sometimes you can face errors when changing the fonts on your site. The error basically is that the fonts might not change on your site. So to fix this error, we need to go back to our site, click on the customize button, and then select the fonts plugin. Then click the debugging option and enable this option called force styles. Then click on the publish button. And once that's saved, the fonts that are not displaying earlier, will start displaying on your site. Now, if you want more control over changing font sizes and formatting, you can install a free plugin called Advanced Editor Tools. So let's return to our WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, search for Advanced Editor Tools, install it and activate it. And now let's go to the settings in the dashboard and click on Advanced Editor Tools. And scrolling down, we'll see toolbars for the classic paragraph and classic blocks, as well as unused button toolbars. So we can drag and drop these font size and font style families up here. Simply drag it like this and arrange it wherever you want in this toolbar. Once that is done, all you need to do is scroll down completely and then click on save changes. Now go to all posts and choose the posts that you're working on. Click on edit. Then you come to this page and click on edit with Elementor and your site editor will start to load like this. So let's say this is the text that you want to add the font size to. So when you click on this text, a drop-down menu will appear on the left side 
and it will display a list of font families and font sizes under the edit text editor. From here, select the part of the text where you'd like to change the size. So I'll choose this part of the text. And here you can select the font sizes. Now you can see the font size has been updated. Uh, similarly, you can change the font style too. Just select the text, go to the font family and choose your preferred style. I'll go for one and that's it. Also, in this three minute video, I'm showing you how to triple your site speed for free using our new speed plugin. So you're gonna really thank me for this. Do check it out and I'm gonna see you there.